agencies to dig deeper and get to the root. Meanwhile, Parliament held a valedictory service for Mr. Mkandawire in allowing members of Parliament to pay their last respect. And the Speaker of the National Assembly, Nelly Muti, has described the late Kabwata lawmaker as a mature politician. Ms. Muti says Mr. Mkandawire engaged in non-partisan politics during his short stay in the House. On the 2nd November 2021, members of parliament joined the rest of the country, paying their last respect to the late United Party for National Development, UPND Kawata lawmaker Levim Kandawiri, at parliament building who died on 18th of November 2021 after being bashed by a car at his house. Speaking during valedictory service in Lusaka, government chief whip Stafford Mulusa notes with sadness that the death of the late Kawata MP is a great loss not only to the party but to the entire country as he was a leader who was eager to save the people of Kawata, especially the youths. The demise of Honorable Mkandawire is a great loss not only to the party but the entire nation of Zambia. Honorable Mkandawire was an exemplary leader, very soft-spoken, jovial, a gentleman who worked and served the party with loyalty. Honorable Mkandawire was eager to save the people of Kawata, especially the youth. His priority was to change the status quo of the unemployment in his constituency. Unfortunately, we have lost his great visionary before his dream could come to reality. As the UPND, we will ensure that we fulfill this aspiration in honor of our beloved Honorable Member. As we may all be aware, our colleague died in... And Speaker of the National Assembly, Mary Muti, has encouraged the people of Kawata to continue remembering the late MP in peace and harmony throughout this difficult period. Honorable Mkandawira's name will surely go down in the history of this country as a true statesman. Fellow mourners, as we continue remembering our departed colleague, I would like to encourage all of us to turn to God for strength and comfort. I further implore the people of Kabwata constituents to continue mourning their departed member in unity and harmony throughout the period. And to all honorable members of parliament, let me take this opportunity to express my profound gratitude for the manner in which you have mourned our departed colleague. Indeed, you have shown that we are real brothers keepers. We believe and belong to different parties but when faced with the misfortune, you have shown that you can put our ideologies aside and move as one people. Acting leader of the opposition, Nixon Chilangwa, described the death of the late Lusaka's Kawata member of parliament, Levi Mkandawire, as a shocking one. As the PF, we learned of the tragic and sudden passing of Honorable Levi Mkandawire with great shock and sense of deep sorrow. For this reason, we are here to stand as one with members of the bereaved family and the UPND in mourning our departed colleague. Indeed, our spirits are heavy today, for we have prematurely lost a person who was dear to all of us. Last month, Let Mkandawiri was rumored to have died, and his party made a post about his death, which turned out not to be true. But unfortunately, the late Kawata member of parliament, Levi Mkandawire, died on 18th of November 2021 after being bashed by a car at his house. And has been put to rest at Memorial Park Cemetery. Margaret Chota, Movie TV News in Lusaka. Mr. Mkandawire, who died on 18th November 2021, has since been put to rest today at Laupert's Hill Memorial Park. He is survived by his wife, Charity Ngosa, and four children, three daughters and a son. 
Former Kabushi PF Member of Parliament, Bowman Lesambo, has appealed to the Constitutional Court against the nullification of his parliamentary seat. In a notice of appeal filed in the Constitutional Court Registry, Mr. Lesambo, who is also former Lusaka Provincial Minister, has appealed against the whole judgment delivered by Ndola Best Judge Edward Musona last Friday, losing PF, losing rather UPND candidate Bennett Ningo successfully petitioned the Samba seat in the Ndola High Court. Mr. Lusambo has advanced four grounds, while other grounds will follow later. He has argued that Judge Musona erred in law and, in fact, when he held that the reported violence in four out of eight wards amounted to widespread violence, while acknowledging that Lusambo may only have been present at two occasions when violence was alleged to have been perpetrated. Mr. Lusambo submitted that Judge Musona also erred in law and in fact when he shifted the burden of proof to him when he held that the failure to show that he attempted to stop the violence meant that he consented to it or acknowledged the violence. Judge Musona nullified the seat on grounds that there was widespread violence in Kabushi and that Lusambo did not disassociate himself from his militia group known as the Nati forces which was attacking the electorates. Judge Musona said before nullifying the seat that he was satisfied that Lusambo had knowledge of violence, saying that his defense that he was not in Dola when the violence episodes were recorded cannot stand. The Kasama High Court has nullified the Lunte parliamentary seat, which was held by former Transport and Communications Minister Mutotwe Kafuaya of the Patriotic Front. The Saka Best High Court Judge Wilfred Moma, who read the ruling before a packed court in Kasama, said there were the serious issues of bribery and corruption during the campaigns. Zanis reports that Judge Moma, who was sitting in the Kasama High Court, made the ruling in Kasama today and Mr. Kafuaya said the court has made the judgment best on what was submitted before them. He said he will however sit down with other stakeholders to decide on the next course of action. And the petitioner Katongo Chasaya of the ruling United Party for National Development UPND has expressed happiness with the judgment saying justice has been delivered. Mr. Josiah said he has been vindicated by the judgment, stating that the people of Lunte did not choose freely, but the winner was imposed to them. He said with this judgment, the people of Lunte will have an opportunity to have a leader of their choice who will deliver development in the area. UPND Deputy Secretary General Patrick Mucheleka, who was present in court, said the party and its alliance partners have been vindicated. He said the judgment judge has clearly indicated that there was massive corruption in the election of Mr. Kafuaya and it is for this reason that the seat has been nullified. He said the PF candidate used the social cash transfer to threaten voters. Meanwhile, the court has upheld the election of Brian Mundubile as Mporokoso Member of Parliament. The Saka Best High Court Judge Charles Zulu, who was in seating Kasama, made the ruling in Kasama today. And Mr. Mundubile has welcomed the ruling, saying the judgment is a sweet victory, adding that justice has been done. Mr. Mundubile said it has been a very long rest, which has come to a close. He has uh, since indicated the petition had disturbed the delivery of information to the people of Mporokoso. Meanwhile, there was commotion at the court grounds as a UPND cadres clashed with PF supporters who had come to offer solidarity to Mr. Mundwile. Meanwhile, PF Nakonde Area Member of Parliament, Lucas Simumba, has had his seat nullified by the Chinsali High Court. Mr. Simumba was petitioned by UPND Simon Simwanza, citing election irregularities. So far, the biggest opposition has had 
The courts wipe the party as they lose five seats of Kabushi's Bowman Lesambo, uh, Kwacha's Joseph Mulanji, Mutotwe Kafwaya of Lunte, Sibongile Mwamba of Kasama Central, and Lucas Simumba of Nakonde. <laughs> Amen. 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 Yeah, you should be poor. 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 Yeah, you should be poor.